Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will make an in-depth stock fundamental analysis of the company PayPal. I will cover its history, business model, growth, balance sheet, profitability, and finally its valuation. Let's begin. PayPal's first electronic payment was launched in 1998. It was founded by Ken Howery, Max Lefshin, Luke Nozak, Hugh Penn, and Peter Thiel. The company was acquired by eBay in 2002 and got separated in 2015. Its headquarters is in San Jose, California. Its current CEO since 27 of September 2023 is Alex Chris. PayPal has a market cap of $64 billion. Its stock is trading below $60 currently. PayPal operates an online payment system that supports online money transfer. It is a payment processor for online vendors, auction sites, and other commercial users. PayPal charges its customers and merchants with net transaction fees which are based on total payment volume. It also makes money through other value-added services such as interest and fees earned on loans. PayPal revenue model is fairly simple. The company has two revenue segments, with transaction revenue accounting for 90% of revenues. Transaction revenue consists of primarily of fees charged to customers for completing payment transactions. From consumers, PayPal charges fees for foreign currency conversion, instant transfers, buying and selling crypto, using PayPal credits, products, and other miscellaneous fees. From merchants, PayPal charges for completing payment transactions and other payment-related services. Other revenues, revenues from other value-added services consist of revenue earned through partnerships, referral fees, subscription fees, gateway fees, and other services. PayPal also generates interest and fees from loans receivables. PayPal owns further businesses like Venmo, Braintree, and Honey that also operate in the transaction business. While PayPal competes with businesses like Google Pay, Amazon Pay, and other ones, PayPal is the most accepted digital wallet across North America and Europe. PayPal grew its revenue from $6.7 billion in 2013 to $27.5 billion in 2022, more than 4x in this 10 years period. The free cash flow per share grew from 1.35 in 2013 to 4.41 in 2022. The free cash flow peaked in 2020s and decreased again to the current value. This is probably why the stock started correcting in 2022 and 2023. The same can be seen in the active accounts numbers. The active accounts peaked in Q4 2022 reaching 435 million active accounts, then decreased to 431 in Q2 2023. Again, this is probably why Wall Street punished PayPal with a stock price reduction. This decrease in growth could mean that PayPal will stop growing and is being a mature company. I believe this business is cyclical, it will grow back again in the future. It is prognosed that the online retail will grow worldwide in the future and PayPal will have its share of the pie. PayPal can expand its services to more countries and regions, increasing the number of businesses that accept PayPal. Since it is important to also consider the bear case in each investment, PayPal have some headwinds growing. The biggest market for online payment worldwide is China. In China, people use Alipay and WeChat for transactions. PayPal has no access or chance in this market. Amazon and eBay, who belong to the biggest platforms worldwide, don't accept PayPal as payment option, limiting its growth possibilities. So I believe the company will grow in the future, but the growth will not be in percentual double digits. Now let's jump to the balance sheet and check how healthy the company is. PayPal had in 2022 total current assets of 54.1 billion US dollars. The current assets are the assets that are available to the company within one year. They include cash and short-term investments. The total current liabilities, which are the liabilities which the company must pay within one year, are $41.7 billion, leaving the company with $12.4 billion of cash and short-term investment. The long-term debt of PayPal is $10.5 billion, meaning the company is net cash positive. It can pay its debt immediately and still hold cash. Thus, PayPal has a very healthy balance sheet. Now let's analyze the profitability of the company. PayPal has 50% gross profit margin. The gross profit margin is the difference between revenue and the direct cost to achieve this revenue. It is clear that the gross profit margin is declining with the revenue increase. Usually, we like to see the operating profit increasing with revenue due to the business scale efficiency. The operating profit increased with the revenue to four billion US dollar in 2022. The operating profit is the total earnings from a business functions for a given period, excluding the reduction of interest and taxes known as EBIT. The operating profit margin is between 14 and 17 percent of revenues, making PayPal a profitable business.
PayPal has a $64 billion market cap, a PE ratio of 16.1, a price to free cash flow ratio of 15.2, a price to book of 3.23. Pause the video and check how these prices compare to the previous years. According to the current valuation, PayPal looked cheaply valued compared to previous years. The recent crash in the stock puts PayPal at the cheapest valuation multiple since its IPO in 2015. Now let's do a discounted cash flow analysis to determine the fair value of the stock. This is how my model works. I calculate the worst case scenario to determine the downside, a normal case and best case scenario. The first column represents the growth rate for the next 5 years. The second column represents the growth rate for the years afterwards. The third column represents the terminal multiple or the PE multiple at which the stock will be sold 10 years from now. The fourth column represents the discount rate or the rate of return the stock will grow over the years. I use 15%, I know it is high. If I want a 10% return per year, I will buy an ETF and not a stock. So considering a 10% growth rate the first 5 years and 7% the 5 years afterward, a terminal multiple of 11, the fair value of the stock is around 59 US dollars. Currently, the stock is trading at fair value. For a 15% return, the stock will double every 5 years. Now I will finish the video with a 3M analysis. 1M for moat, 1M for management, and 1M for margin of safety. PayPal has a strong brand and network effect modes that should protect the company from the competition. Management is new, the old management did wise capital allocation, decision, doing acquisitions and shares buyback. Check this chart, the dark blue color is for share repurchases, the management did every year. The number of shares have been decreasing year after year. We will see what the new management will do. For the margin of safety, PayPal is trading at fair price to its intrinsic value. PayPal can pay its long-term debt with the cash available in the balance sheet, keeping it in a safe position. So as a conclusion, the world is shifting into a cashless economy and PayPal stands to benefit from this trend. However, PayPal is not alone in this trend and have a lot of competition. PayPal is starting to mature, its growth is decreasing. I will buy PayPal shares at around $59.